What's going on guys today? I will show you how to build restaurant info and customer support chatbot for your AI automation agency or your clients. So the chatbot that we are going to build will answer all customers uh, questions about the restaurant. Can I make a table reservation for a large group? Is your restaurant kid friendly? Is there a dress code at your restaurant? Extremely, this is extremely simple to make. Let's check it out. So this is the chatbot that I made right here. So right on the right side, I'm going to say hi. It's going to say greetings. I will answer all your questions about the foodies, the, the light restaurant. What, what would you like to know? Uh, do you have a dress code? Question mark. Let's see what it's going to do. We have a casual dress code. Please feel free to... Uh, dress comfortably. What would you like to know? Is going to ask again. I can ask a question again. This is drawing from. I I gave it all of these questions and answers. So this is its its database. The main advantage of this AI chatbot is that you can ask a question in any way. It's going to recognize what you are asking. So for example, how can I reserve a table? Customer could say, Am I able to reserve a table? or how to reserve a table at your restaurant. The AI is going to recognize what the customer means and answer with this answer. That's the main selling point of this AI chatbot. You don't need to programmatically program every case, every possible case, every possible word. It doesn't have to be word by word. Let's go back to the presentation and go to the next slide. How to start getting clients. You must always create a quick and easy and fast prototype. 20 minutes, one hour, if you are new to this, whatever it takes, one hour is nothing. Then search for restaurants or luxury restaurants or Boston restaurants, restaurants in New York on Google Maps. Uh, and then take their numbers and emails and contact them. You can always ask ChatGPT for search ideas, like uh, search keywords, or you can ask ChatGPT for anything in this whole process. So. You should cold call numbers. Do not email. Calling is way better. I explained this in another video, but you will succeed three times faster if you call. The reasons are you will hear real, like you will instantly hear objections and issues and problems they have with your offer. It's, uh, I don't trust it. It sounds good, but it's, uh, how can I know it's going to help me? Or it's, uh, it's too expensive or, you know, I'm not sure about it. Do you have any other questions? So you're going to hear objections and you're going to be able to think about it and then solve it. Uh, do not waste their time. Don't ask how, how are you, sir? Don't ask that. Say what you need to say in three sentences. Hello, my name is Vuk. We made an AI chatbot that provides customer support for your visitors. It answers any questions like, can I make a reservation table for a large group, etc. If you'd like to know more, uh, uh, more how we can help you automate customer support and sales, I will explain further. This is, this is probably too many words as well. Your cold call quality, your pitch quality is how well you explain divided by the amount of words you use. Do not waste their time. Charge $100 to $300 in the beginning. It's better even to work for free than to wait five months for a $500 customer with and not do anything for five months. Everybody wants to be different. Everybody wants to charge $500. Everybody wants to be of high prestige. But listen, nobody wants to do the, the hard work. You have to do it for free or for low pay. You are not different than anybody if you don't want to do it for low pay. You are the same as everybody else if you don't want to do it for a low pay. You are not different. You are not better. You, are, you just have an ego. You need to start making $100 immediately and start getting experience immediately uh, instead of waiting for five months to get a, maybe a better offer. It's not going to come anyways. Increase to 1000 to 5000 for other clients gradually. Keep increasing until they are complaining but still paying. So clients are going to, you know, the, your price is going to be between 1000 and 5000 for every um, chatbot. If the clients are not complaining, the price is too low. But do not overprice and lose clients. You need to learn this. You're going to maybe sometimes overprice even. You're going to lose a client or two. You have to. But this is a long-term thing. You're not going to build this in two weeks. You're not probably going to build this in a few months if you are beginner, beginning. 
you're gonna build this in a few years. If you are making, for example, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, you're gonna build it in a few years. But we are early in the market. You have a huge early movers advantage. So even if you are a beginner, there is a chance, although I'm not promising, promising you're gonna build this in a few months. I'm not promising anything. Okay, don't be afraid of mistakes. You will make them. This is the last slide I have. Now I will show you how I built this chatbot. It's very simple. I go here to the left side and say this button, add knowledge base. I rename this knowledge base to whatever, restaurant data, description, restaurant data, it doesn't matter. And then I will leave all of this text in the description below. Copy this text and paste it. Uh, first, you need to create a new knowledge source and choose plain text, copy this text. So these are a bunch of like questions and answers. AI is going to read through this and answer questions. And it can also compose answers from multiple questions. You know, all of whatever user asks that is in this data, AI is going to know how to answer. It doesn't need to be like, can be multiple questions. It's going to compose. It's going to do everything. The way I build this, I have a first node that's just text. It says, uh, greetings, I will answer all the questions about our restaurant. And then we have an expression, which is transition expression, condition true. This is transition to the next node. It has raw input field from here, raw input. Okay. What would you like to know? Also, uh, this has this node has a enable knowledge answering enabled. So the expression, so this raw input is going to answer automatically any questions your uh, customer has because you have enabled enable knowledge answering. So raw input is going to answer it automatically. You don't need to worry about the answer. This is the question. You don't need to worry about the answer. It's going to happen automatically. After that, we have condition to true and transition into the same node. So it's going to repeat this question infinitely. This is it. This is the bot. It doesn't end. It's very quick and easy, I would say. It's very beginner friendly. Thank you for watching. Ask anything below in the comments and see you in the next video.